Hello everyone, NWE War Reports here with the 20th March 2023 Frontline Update for the Russo-Ukrainian War. We're going to dive right into it. We have a bit of breaking news today. We have reports in the area of Avdivka of uh, not one but two Russian breakthroughs uh, and, and new positions that are captured. First we'll talk about the north of Krasnogorovka, of course we've talked about in the last few days. Uh, the Russians managed to capture Krasnogorovka. Now they have crossed the rail line, which is right here, and they have captured or mostly captured this town of Stepol Bay. Uh, the Russians have a different name for it, not exactly uh, sure at the moment what they're calling it, but um, it, it, this has been confirmed by several different sources, one of which uh, actually going back and forth between the different maps, looking at, uh, this is the live UA map, shows a very, uh, you know, not necessarily capture Stepolve, Stepolve, but definitely the Russians crossing uh, the rail line and then going into the line, or I'm sorry, the uh, ISW, which is the Institute for Study of War map. Uh, it, you know, interestingly enough, they've actually marked this as a confirmed event. So, those of you guys that are unfamiliar, this is, a, you know, an American think tank, very connected to the current Biden administra administration and the people that are big proponents of this war. So, they're very pro, it's an extremely pro-Ukrainian bias uh, that you're going to get from them. Uh, and typically, they mark claimed Russian territory in yellow. And the confirmed Russian territory, which usually means it's been visually confirmed that they've you know, moved into a certain town in, in this pink and uh, red dashed line. So they've somehow visually confirmed the Russians in Stepolbe, which I have not seen that yet. But this is, this is a huge development. This is, this is a salient that just keeps growing, keeps getting larger. Um, and it's you know, curious to see if Ukraine's gonna be able to counterattack and, and free this area up some. Now this was also confirmed by uh, Syriac Maps, which has um, put, a, you know, in addition to this, has another claim to the south. This is essentially what Syriac Maps is saying. Pretty large area taking over, uh, you know, a big section of the rail line uh, moving into Stepove. He is mentioning that it hasn't completely been captured yet. Um, but also he could be operating on, uh, you know, there's a chance that everyone's operating on false information, right? Uh, he also notes progress made in Kamyanka, like a little over half of Kamyanka has been captured. And I'm actually going to go ahead and mark this area of the cell as under Russian control now too. Just so we can get a good view um, of everything going on here. So newly uh, captured areas essentially something probably uh, going to be something more or less like this and we might actually adjust it some because um, it seems like there, there is a tad bit of skepticism from some sources that all of Stepove has been captured uh, by the Russians. So this is the newest gains in, these, in, in this area. We're also going to mark uh, the gains for Vassell. In this area, as well as half of Kamyanka. Under Russian control. All right, so there we go. That's more exactly pleasing. Um, the other breakthrough of note is taking place in the south. Uh, an important trench line has been captured, and this has been confirmed by several sources. Uh, you know, one of which is, is once again Syriac maps. Um, this trench line is located right through here, so the Russians, uh, I guess, you know, over the night made some kind of mad dash across the field and managed to capture this trench line. And not only that, but we're now getting reports of fighting uh, entering th this part of Avdivka. 
right here. So essentially looking at that uh, being mapped out, it's looking like um, the new Russian position to something more or less like this. Um, with potentially, potentially I say, um, Russian units moving into Avdivka right there. Now, I'm not going to mark any of that as under any kind of control or, um, you know, confirmed yet at this point because that's just rumors. Uh, I was actually uh, reading a piece posted on Slavyongrad, which is definitely a pro-Russian uh, source, but they were talking about Russian tactics. And it was kind of fascinating how they were saying that um, Russian troops are not allowed, uh, you know, in terms of doctrine. So, like, Russian commanders are not allowed to occupy Ukrainian trench lines. So, when they advance, um, you, you, there's only one of two options. Either you advance forward and you, and you, you know, wipe out the Ukrainian positions and the Ukrainian trenches... And then you go back to your original positions and you prevent the Ukrainians from reoccupying them with, art, you know, with your artillery. Or uh, you have to be ready to advance uh, through two trench lines or two fields, right? So, like, the reason why they don't want to occupy the trench lines is because they could be full of booby traps. Uh, there's, you know, a, a, a number of different reasons why they don't want to be in Ukrainian positions. They're pre-sided with Ukrainian artillery. Uh, I think the Russians have determined that, you know, they can have pretty high death rates if they use the Ukrainian trenches. So, you know, the idea is they need to advance to the next tree line, build their own trench, um, and that's and that's how they advance. So it, it makes me curious if this isn't the new line of where the Russians are entrenched at now, and that's what's enabling them to attack uh, into Abdiyev. But we will see in the next few days. What the story of that is, just zooming out to show you guys the, the deterioration of the situation here. All of the, um, you know, all of the white, the gray, or the white and the yellow outline, this all the newly captured territory in the last 24 hours. So, um, Abdiyev is getting pretty bad, uh, I have to say. There's, you know, I was talking about the other day, someone um, had mentioned, you know, what if Abdiyev fell for back moot? I said I found it highly unlikely. Um, the way this situation is developing, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, could go either way. All right, guys, I'll have another video later today about Bakhmut. Don't forget to like and, and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.